My name is Brian Beards. I'm a soybean breeder at the University of Illinois where I'm a professor in the Crop Sciences Department. So as part of the Feed the Future Soybean Innovation Lab, we're working with breeders in three countries. So we're working with soybean breeders in northern Ghana at the Savannah Research Institute. We're working with a soybean breeder at the Jima Research Institute in uh, Ethiopia. And then also a soybean breeder in Malawi that's working for IITA. The soybean breeders in Africa have lots of challenges to work with. As you can imagine, there's infrastructure problems, there's equipment problems, there's problems with not having the right techni technical help. Um, so to give you some examples, one of the issues is with um, uh, just equipment for breeding programs. You know, soybean breeders in the U.S., um, what we use is uh, our combines to harvest plots. They're doing absolutely everything by hand. So they're harvesting the plot, plots by hand, and they're threshing all these plots out by hand. So one of the solutions we're providing is that we're sending uh, just simple threshers that they can use in their programs. And these are very durable pieces of equipment. We have similar threshers at the University of Illinois that are over 40 years old. So hopefully that they will be able to maintain these and be able to use these over the years. And what that can do is really help their throughput in terms of evaluating more potential varieties. Uh, plant breeding is really a numbers game. So in order to make progress in plant breeding, what you need to do is develop and test a lot of potential varieties to identify those that are the highest performing. And we hope by providing some, some kind of simple uh, equipment like thrashers that will allow them to be able to increase the number of potential varieties they're going to be evaluating and thereby will allow them to have more success. Other um, issues that they've or, or problems that they have is just getting good technical help um, to, to work in the programs. People who, who understand plant breeding and are well trained um, as part of this program, or the, the Feed the Future Soybean Innovation Lab, we are also having a training component. So for example, um, people will be trained in plant breeding to the master's level, and these people can go back to these programs and, and become productive assistant breeders to really allow uh, breeding progress to, to, to go further. One of the main things that we're hoping for is that we'll see more productive plant breeding programs. So as I already mentioned, we're sending some equipment. In five years, this equipment still should be, should be usable and they'll still be able to use this far into the future. Um, but we hope that these breeders will receive more experience, more training, and they'll also get a better perspective of what's possible. And I, I think part of the issue with some of these breeders is that they have very small programs and they don't view that they can expand their programs. Um, and by providing them you know, some more training, uh, some technical help, I think they'll be able to realize, hey, we can actually, with the resources we have, do a lot more. We hope that in the future, the impact of this will be that the farmers in Africa will have some higher yielding varieties that they'll be growing. As a soybean breeder, I think more about just the technical issues of breeding. And um, so as part of this meeting here, I'm learning a lot more about some of the other aspects of development. So what are the other issues that we need to think about when we design and think about the priorities of breeding programs? We are always looking for private as well as public partners, and you can contact, contact us through our Innovation Lab website. Thank you.